Oh my gosh, check this out. Check this out. It's oh, right yeah, there, it's nice. Chunky. Some hold on, this. hold on. It's a pickle. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good job, bro. Thanks, sir. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome to episode 72 of West Coast Gold Prospecting. My name is Damon, if you're new here, and, and welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So today we, we are with uh, Todd with Top Cat Gold Prospecting, Bennett, we got Otis, we got Sean, Cold Water Prospecting, Matt with Inside Bend. So we got a bunch of people here, it's gonna be awesome. Let me show you my first pan. I'll turn you around here and uh, Pretty dang good for the first pan of the day. Let me show you here. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Woo! Got a little couple little pokers over here and a whole bunch of finds. Probably a 75 spec pan. So I'm gonna get right back to it. Alright, so I'm just popping bedrock here. These chunks scraping down the, the sand and material in there and panning it out. Here's my second pan. Check this out. Oh my goodness. I do believe these are mercury covered gold here. Look how chunky they are. Yeah. A couple little pokers. Uh, loving it. All right. So I'm going to get back to work. I'll show you the next one here in a second. Right there. That is nice. Chunky. Hold on. Hold on. It's a pickle. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good job, bro. Thanks, nice. sir. You got two pickers in there. That one over here is a picker as well. It's me. Oh, 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 oh. Look, fuck it. My yeah. fucking fingers are shaking so yeah. bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. I told you, man. This place has been paying for years. Oh, oh God. God. Matt's saying good pan. Gotta go see. Yeah, he's gonna bring it over. Oh, good. Come on. <laughs> yeah, only one of us a trick and fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good one, huh? Oh shit! Look at the smile on that fucker's <laughs> face. Not, it, I've just never found anything like this. Should see thicker as bam. Okay. Oh, what, oh the, what? It's a big thing of mercury. Holy oh, hell. And there's one flake, unless it already got, did I mix it with it? No, there it is. Eaten. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Oh, there Holy was a bigger hell. one. Yeah. That's mercury. I was just pulling it out. That's, I could see it sparkling. That's all, that's all gold. I mean, most yeah, of it's yeah. gold. My, the bummer is, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. The uh, thing is, I don't want to yeah. mix it, you know. If you have a separate vial, keep it separate. Well, I've got a mercury vial, but, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, I, I'll just take a picture and be like, plus. Shit, that. at the end of the How day, much? We'll I mean, that's that like, shit off. Yeah, that's really like off. a gram or something, right? Yeah, that's probably a quarter to it. You good know, work, bud. Three, nice. nice. That's, three that's good. Yeah. It's a big old okay, so I don't know whether to be excited or, or bummed, but I, I we, we can't figure it out. I just did a pan, and look at all this. It looks like amalgam. Like, mercury covered gold but we did a little scratch test on one of them and it's not looking like gold underneath but if you look at this one that little piece right there has got a gold flake stuck to it in the same hold on a second here flip it over there in the same material see that flake stuck to that ball um, and there's big chunks of it. I have no idea what it is. Me and Todd just took five minutes trying to figure it out. Can't figure it out, but it's in the heavies and I'm gonna keep it for now, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm just, we just don't know. But yeah, there's other gold in there with it. Uh, we got some, some little pokers and a bunch of little finds. So I'm gonna get right back to it and hit the next one. I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, so my last few pans didn't have much in them, like five and 10 pieces. This is my work area. Been chewing up that bedrock. 
going down there quite a ways. I'm crevicing as, you know, as good as I can. So now, I turned around and I seen this, this little hole underneath here, right there. And I put my pry bar under there and the whole thing started coming up. I got a, a really awesome crevice right here. And a really nice one on the other side of it here with a bunch of material in there. So this could be an epic pan or two. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so I was able to move a little chunk from right here and scratched up some of the material down there on the bottom. And uh, this is what came out of it. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. I do believe that bigger chunk on the right uh, is, is mercury covered gold and we got a little piece of lead in there and probably right around 40 or so pieces other than the lead in that chunk yeah not bad at all so I'm gonna loosen this up move this and get the material on both sides the crevice on both sides I'm gonna scratch that up and I'll show you that here in a minute all right so this will be my last pan from here it seems to have dried up. Here's what I got out of the last one. Probably 20 super, super fines. So, on to the next crevice. We got Sean working right here. Otis there. Matt there and Bennett and uh, Todd are up around Camp America here. Over the hill. I uh, hope they're doing good. All right, so I had my eyeball on this little this little hole under the bedrock. There was a little hole right here under this chunk of bedrock. And I, I just decided to pry it. And there wasn't a whole lot of material. Um, still quite a bit more to get. Um, but you, oh my gosh, check this out. Check this out. There are six pickers in here. I'm gonna show you. One? I got a good little one. Listen. Yeah. You got a good one? Yeah. Here's number two. Hold on, I got it. Let's take a look at Odysseus. Oh my goodness. Yeah, buddy. Oh hell yeah. I gotta wash that back a little bit, but it's not impressive like that that you got. But that's a good yep. pan. Oh heck yeah! That's we're getting really good pans oh, here. That fucking is a great pan. You just got. God damn it! Here's number three. It's got. Uh, I do believe it's amalgam covered, but I will burn it off when I get home. Here's number four. Just push it again. Five. Six. Yeah, and then a bunch of fines to go with it. Oh man, and that just came out of this little, little tiny chunk of bedrock. My hand for comparison. Just the material under it. So now I gotta clean it super good. And then pop off this little section right here work my way down see how, how much is in there I'll show you the next one here in a second all right so I did one more small pan and that's what it's looking like got one little looks like a little picker and probably 20 20 or 25 finds something like that yeah so I think I'm gonna keep on going that little section and see what see what else is in there all right so I went into a new section of bedrock and this is what came out of it probably i don't know 80 80 to 100 colors and one little well yeah pick it up I mean, it's pretty thin pretty darn thin but 
a nice flake. All right, all right. So I'm gonna get back to it. I got a little bit more material to move out of there and, and then uh, on to my next crevice. All right, another pan down from right in there. And um, I'm look, really looking forward to this crevice under here. There's a crevice underneath that boulder there and that's gonna come up. Hopefully I can get it to stand up and move it over, but it's getting pretty big. The back's already hurting, but yep. here's what came out of the last pan. Uh, let's see here. I've been over there for a uh, Anyhow. There we go. Probably 20, 25 pieces. Something like that. It's not bad at all. I'll take it and I'm gonna move on. I'll show you the next one here in a second. All right, so me and Todd got this boulder flipped over. It's a lot bigger than it looks. Uh, thank you, Todd, by the way. That thing is a beast. Oh man, no wonder my back hurts. So anyhow, I did a pan of the material kind of on the outskirts and I'm working my way back. Uh, as you can see there, and this is what came out of it. I got uh, another amalgam covered little picker. Just a little guy. And then some fines in there with it. Probably 20 or 30. Something like that. I'll take that. Hell yeah. All right, back to it. All right, another pan down. Got uh, probably a 30 specs or so. So, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I mean, man, yeah, I'm beat. Last one. Yep. Nice pan of red dirt, let's see what she's got. Nice, all right. Well, I may do one more. If I do, cool. I'll show you that. And if not, I'll show you the snuffer dome. On our way out. Oh man, it's gonna be fun. All right, so we're back home and it's been several weeks since uh, uh, this trip. And uh, I've just been waiting for, uh, been trying to get a, a retort to, to burn this mercury off properly, but um, I, have, I wasn't able to make it happen. So uh, we're just gonna burn it off uh, with a good old torch and a respirator and, you know, in the right spot. So let's get to it and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what we're gonna Try to burn it off in. And here's a look at the gold as well. Let's see. Hey, good a cat. I got a cat nudging on me. You know? That's what it's looking like. And I can't wait to see what it looks like cleaned up. I have a feeling those, uh... Oh, I'm having some focus issues. I have a feeling those bigger chunks are going to break down into really fine gold. Sorry, I got a cat over here pushing on me. Come on, cat. And uh, yeah, I have a feeling those are gonna break up into a whole bunch of small gold, those larger clumps. Those ones there. And uh, let's just find out right now. Okay, so we got it cleaned up as good as I can. Um, I don't know if I wasn't getting it hot enough or or really what was going on, but um, I brought it back inside and I kind of got it separated from what, you know, pretty much looks like gold. I don't know what to think about this. As you can see, there's a lot of gold in there, but on some of these bigger chunks, I think, I think it's still really really fine gold all balled together in an old old batch of mercury and I don't know if I didn't get it hot enough or what but I, I separated the pieces that really didn't look like well you can tell that there's gold on them you can see it but yeah they're more mercury covered than anything so I took those out and, and here's what we have uh, afterwards so as you can, you know, you can see that most of it's gold. 
but there is some something Mer probably mercury um, yeah mercury left over but anyhow let's get it on the scale see what, see what each of these piles weigh kind of give us a rough idea of what what we have for a total all right so here we go let's get this on the scale see what we're looking at <clears throat> um, altogether it did weigh 2.85 um, with with all the mercury and before it was burnt off and now it's going to weigh somewhere near let's find out here Two point eight five. It went holy moly down to one point three four, but we still do have that stuff, and there's there's still mercury on it, and uh, maybe I gotta try to burn that again somehow, um, just for the heck of it. We'll see. So that ended up being, we'll just say one point three. Put this back on here. And that back there. Zero. Let's see what this weighs just for the heck of it. Wow. Point four two zero. Ha, <laughs> what a great number. Anyhow, uh, wow, what a loss. So 1.3 plus 0.4 is 1.7. Yeah, 1.7 and 2.8. We lost over, we lost over a gram. Holy moly. It's still not done yet. I still gotta burn that stuff off. We're gonna lose half the weight there. I know there's there's a nugget under that one, that big one. Uh, it was that big flake attached to those two little cover, uh, amalgam cover pieces. But anyhow, wow, there's a lot more mercury in there than I anticipated. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. I, I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace. So before you go, I just wanted to let you know that I did take that set up and I went out onto the five acres here and uh, did it out away from people and, and everything. And uh, no, I won't be doing it again. Uh, I'll wait and get a retort next time. I just still didn't feel safe enough even with the respirator on. Um, so uh, lesson learned, but we did get to see some good gold and I ho do hope you, uh, you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.